everyone, my name is George Farmer, also known as the Aquascaper, and today I'm going to review the Aquatics Aqualumi Universal. So before I go into the actual review, I'll just give you a little bit of a background story. So um, one of the first aquariums I ever bought was a Jewel Rio 125, probably about 15 years ago now I bought that. And it came with two TH tubes, um, which is great, you know, it's fine, the light, the light works okay. But I soon got into the plant and tank hobby and soon found that 2T8s wasn't enough to grow some of the demanding plants that I wanted to do. So I ended up uh, adding extra tubes, sort of balancing them on the brace, um, you know, probably quite unsafe and uh, a bit, bit Heath Robinson if you like. Um, so if I'd have known this product back then it would have been a, a total, uh, you know, godsend and I would have really appreciated it. You know, Jewel have up their game and they do produce T5 now with, with their with their aquariums, but they are only the two T5s. Um, and so we move on to um, the Aquatics product here, the uh, Universal, uh, which is great. It comes with four tubes. Uh, you can have with two, um, but I've got the four tube model here. This is a 120 centimetre model and it has an adjustable uh, end so you can actually uh, it will fit onto larger aquariums if required. Um, the really good thing about Aquatics is that they're based in the UK and they actually make these themselves so if you do have an odd size aquarium they can cater for your needs. Um, they do produce the, the models off the shelf 55 centimetres all the way up to 150 centimetres so I think virtually every model of um, you know, Jewel, uh, Fluval, Aqua One, any of those um, all-in-one aquarium systems with the flat uh, and luminaire system um, these are compatible with so that's great. Um, assembly is fairly straightforward uh, Aquatics have got their own YouTube channel which I'll put the website address below and there's some really good instructional videos on there so I won't go into too much detail but you do need to assemble the tubes first like so they come with the end connectors and they just literally plug in to the unit themselves like so And it's, it's really quite a simple process. It'll probably take you about five minutes from start to finish to, uh, to assemble the, the Universal. And uh, another real, there we go, another real advantage of, of this unit is that the, there's two power supplies, there's two individual plugs. So you can independently switch the lamp. So you can have the two inners or the two outers. Um, one minor drawback, which I would have liked to have seen, is an independent uh, rocker switch on each on each uh, plug. Um, but most most guys will be using timers, or you can actually uh, obviously switch the uh, socket itself. So um, I'll just plug it in, and we'll we'll see how it goes. There we go, four tubes. So you know, four T5s. It's not necessary to grow a lot of plants for the plant and tank hobbyist or the aquascaper. But for those wanting to grow really demanding plants or really get the reds out of their stem plants or grow really tight carpets of plants, you know, really get really nice compact growth, then four tubes, you know, is the way to go. Um, it's been a, a, a massive influx of LEDs in the market now and LEDs certainly do have their place in the hobby. I've been using LEDs for years now with great results. But I think T5 still does have its place as well. Um, these are the tropical tubes that are supplied. Um, these these come free with the if they are they're included in the price. Um, and I think this retails for this four tube model 120 centimeter retails for 144 pounds 99, and the tubes are included. The the reflectors aren't, and I do recommend fitting reflectors. But you do get a 20 percent discount apparently if you buy the reflectors with the uh, Universal. So. Um, what else can I say? It's, it's a great product. It uses quality actually. I'm really impressed. Um, compared with, with the dual uh, light bars and the, and, and the other manufacturers, uh, they're generally made of a moulded plastic, uh, which is really tricky to get into if you need any repairs. But this is anodized aluminium, so it won't corrode and it's actually repairable quite simply. And as I say, iQuatics are based in the UK. So uh, they'll be obviously, if you did run into any issues, uh, last resorts, then um, you know, they obviously help you out. So great product. Um, I'm going to be using this on a 120 centimetre tank soon. Um, really looking forward to using T5s again for a change because I really do like the spectrum that they produce. Um, 
as I say, LEDs are great, but sometimes the glitter lines can be a little bit off-putting. And I just find the colour spectrum of, of T5s actually tend to be quite superior to, to, to most LEDs anyway. Um, so that about wrap, wraps it up for me today, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I'll put a link to the iQuatics website below. Um, great product, recommended, good value. If you really want to get that extra lighting over your Joule or Fluval or Aqua One tank or whatever, or even a standard or custom built tank, um, it, this will work great. So uh, well done, iQuatics. Highly recommended. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep on scaping. Cheerio. Thank you.